So we've made it to our second stop. We're in Stanford, Connecticut at the corner of Lower Prospect and Forest Street. Now the farmer's market's right behind me. They run June through November, Saturdays 10 to 2. Let's go see what they have for us today. Now we just came across this beautiful looking tea here. It's for Ducky Life and they do splendid loose leaf organic specialty teas and accessories. Now I'm here with Dina and Ben and now tell us your last name. Silverleaf. Okay. Should not be just selling tea. <laughs> Silverleaf and she sells tea. Now I think you know the guys are just saying this is what you have to do. I will and they were because my husband's also English so it, could I sell anything else? I, I don't think so. I think you found your niche here. Now tell us about these organic teas. Well we import all our teas from China, India, Japan, Sri Lanka uh, and the reason we import them tea doesn't grow in this country. We have neither the terrain nor the climate for tea. They're all organic. We have relationships with the farmers in those places and we have people who are making sure that they adhere to our standards of organic because they vary from country to country. The other tisans, which is what we term herbal tea in this country, but they're called tisan or tisane, depending on where you um, hail from, um, come from places like uh, South America, South Africa, um, and a number of other places. We also blend many of our teas for flavorings and we don't use extracts. We use full spices and fruits. Um, when we use fruits, they're dried. Or like our white tip peach, we use the peach blossom. Okay. Um, and we put it in the tea and that provides the flavor. Um, all our um, spices come from Germany, which have the highest organic standards. So where we have we have some teas that are caffeinated and some that are not caffeinated. And I say not caffeinated rather than decaf because we don't decaffeinate our tea. When we say it has no caffeine, it's naturally not caffeinated because the decaffeinating process is a chemical process and we don't want to pump chemicals put into what we, yeah, put chemicals we in. were so um, careful about not getting in the first place. Well, they look beautiful. Now tell me, what's better about organic tea versus tea that you can find in the grocery store? Well, first of all, organic is that there's no chemicals. Um, there are some organic teas in the um, supermarket and they will have no chemicals. So you don't want to be, and it's, the chemicals are gonna have an almond leaf. Um, and then you're putting it in a cup, you're gonna get that in your system. So that's why you want um, the organics. How, it fair, um, how these teas differ from what you're getting in the supermarket, you can get some loose leaf tea in the supermarket, but it's been sitting on the shelves mm -hmm. for a while. Now this, our teas, we say, have an 18 month shelf life. But when it when you pick it up, it, it's 18 months from when you get it from yeah. us, not from when it's been sitting sitting in the supermarket. I'm here with Craig and Julia. Now tell us what brought you out to the market today. Um, we just decided to come as it's the first time that we've come here. We just wanted to see what was see what was here to offer, what they, everybody had to offer, and. Um, get some alternatives to shopping in uh, big grocery stores. Okay, now, Julia, what is your favorite product that you've seen here today? I think it has to be the tea. Um, it's uh, really good for you, and uh, they served it ice cold, so especially on a day like today, it was really good. Yeah, it was very good. We just visited the tea, it was delicious. Now, what do you like about a market versus the grocery store? There's a certain um, level of, you know, the people who offer it, the people who sell it, you know, in this kind of environment have a certain, you know, commitment to it. They, you know, they set everything up by hand, set, pull everything down by hand. So they, you know, it's, they put a little bit of love into it, I guess you could say. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping with us and enjoy your day here at the market. Thanks. Thank you. We're here at Izzy B's. They are allergen-free, vegan, all-natural, gluten-free cupcakes. Now I'm with Pam and Marie. Tell us about these cupcakes. They don't have a lot of things in them, but they are so good still. Well, because we make them with lots of love, and uh, the chocolate ones we make with sweet potato and olive oil. The white ones have pineapple juice and rice milk. They're all made with agave syrup, and um, 
no regular flour, so we use sorghum, potato starch, and tapioca starch. Now, if I heard that, I would be like, okay, I these know. aren't gonna taste good. And then I came over here and I was a little hesitant because I like to be healthy and I like, you know, I'm trying to live healthy and lose weight and be fit and everything, but I still like things to taste good. And I'm very, especially like dessert type foods, I'm very hesitant and I'm like, I don't like diet tasting things or anything. So I took one of those. So that's good. The look, that's the look. That's yeah. the look I get. That's why I decided to do farmers markets because I want people to taste them because the look of surprise in their eyes is, you know, you have to let people taste them. When yeah. you hear something gluten free or vegan, you're like, eh. But that's why I do these because when people taste them, they're definitely surprised. It is. Very it's happy. so good because I mean, I might have passed them up if I saw them in a store, but getting to taste these. It's amazing, and you wouldn't think they're so good, and they just look beautiful too. I mean, the colors, they just pop. So that was the Stanford French market. It's a little different than the first market. That was more of a green market, a lot more produce and vegetables. Now they have some produce there, but not as much as you would see at a green market. I did, however, pick up some tea from Ducky Life Tea. I'm excited to try this. The other teas they had were really good. Now here they had some different kind of products. They had the more organic and natural things like the cupcakes and the tea and the bakery. So it's a little different than the green market we were just at. Now every market can be different. You never know what you're gonna find. Next we're gonna try the Fairfield market. Let's see what we find there.